Okay, so our topic for today is about the convolution. If we say convolution, that is just the mixing of the signal according to the DSP subject. Mixing of two signals by delaying one signal and multiplying them. So according to the discrete time, its equation will be summation of x sub n multiplied by h of k minus n wherein our value of n is from 0 up to k and the operation is multiply now since the integral and summation are interrelated with each other we could just rewrite this into integral of f of x multiplied by g of a minus x from 0 to a. Now, let's try a problem. For an instance, they gave us an f of x which is equal to u of t and g of x equal to t u of t. By applying the long method and from the definition of analog time, the convolution tells us that the h of s, this is just multiply equal to the multiplication of f of s times the g of s. Wherein the h of s, that is the s domain of the convolved equation. If we will get that the plus of this one, this will become 1 over s, while this one will become <coughs> 1 over S squared. In other words, our h of s for this problem will be equal to 1 over s cube. And by getting the inverse Laplace, or getting the f of t of this one by inverse Laplace, this will be equal to the 1 half of t raised to 2. Now, if we will apply our calculator technique, this will just, first step, apply a value of A, any number. Let's just say this is 3. The second step, what is our F of X there? The U of T indicates that is a unit step signal. So that will be just a constant 1. So therefore, our Caltech will be 0 to 3, 1 times what is our g of a minus x? The a minus x here indicates that all t's must be shifted to a minus x. Our t here now will become a, what is our a? 3 minus d x, d sub x. Then solving this on the calculator, will need it to be from 0 to 3 or that is equal to 9 over 2 and our last step all this must become letter A so this final answer if we will substitute the A which is 3 this will yield to 1 half 3 squared which will give us the same answer. Well, click subscribe and like to the CRT YouTube page. Okay, let's try another example. Earlier, we just discussed the concept of the convolution and arrived at this equation given here which will be our calculator technique for our next problem. Now, the next problem tells us to find the convolution of sine t and cosine t. Again, going back to the step-by-step -step process. Step 1, let's apply a value of a. Let's try our value of a to be 5. Second step. 
what will be our working equation now? Since our a is equal to 5, this should be equal to the integral of 0 to 5. What is our f of x here? You could choose either of the two equations. Now, for this case, I will try my f of x to be sine. So, this will become sine of x. Then, what will be my g of x? Let's try the cosine 1. And this should become cosine, what is our a? 5 minus x. Again, earlier, I've said that the a minus x here indicates that we should shift the value of t to the value of a minus x, d sub x. Now, the answer here will become, by typing it on the calculator, and also don't forget that your calculation calculator must be on the region mode. Now, the answer here will become negative 2.3973. Now, for our step 3, just like our example er earlier, all these must become A. That is our third step. In other words, we will substitute the value of A, which is 5, to the letter T on the choices. Now, by trying letter A, this will become 5 over 2 sine of 5, which will give us the same results which is equal also to the 2.3973 negative with that don't forget to click subscribe and like our CRT YouTube page